What things you have to do after your phone is bricked? Hello and welcome guys. Welcome to Cracksoid YouTube channel and today in this video I'm gonna show you how can you unbrick your bricked phones. If your phone stocks in boot loop on Android logo or phone company's logo like Mi logo or Samsung logo or something like that. If your phone software has been destroyed then you can use this method to fix your phone. For the testing purpose I'm going to use my perfectly working Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro and I'm going to damage its software so that it will be dead and then after it can't even go to the recovery mode. And then I will show you what things I do to fix my bricked phone. So without wasting time, let's get started. Before watching this video, you must know about the bricked phone. What does hard brick means? What does soft brick mean? And if you don't know about the bricked phone or if you want to get more knowledge about the brick phone, then I personally suggest you to guys to watch my another video where I explain all about the brick phone, how they occur as well as how to keep your phone safe from being bricked. You can watch that video from the description and the card section. Check it out and get more knowledge about the brick phone. And now I'm going to brick my phone and guys please do not try to brick your phone and I personally do not suggest you to brick your phone because this might cause serious damage to your phone and your phone might be permanently dead as well so do not try this at home. I'm doing this because I do not have any brick phone so that I have to brick my perfectly working phone which is really a risky thing. I'm doing this thing for all of you guys so that you can solve your brick phone problem. So guys please keep supporting us and please keep subscribe to our Cracksuit YouTube channel. To break my phone first of all I will power off my phone then I will press volume down button and power button simultaneously so that I will be redirect to the fast boot mode then I will connect my phone to the computer with the help of USB cable then I will type some commands from CMD then my phone will be bricked and I'm in computer right now I'll go to my C drive first of all and then go to my ADB folder and type CMD here and then CMD will open then I will type my first command and that is fastboot space devices. Then my connected devices will shown here. Then after I will type second command which will break my phone. So guys please do not try to try that command. And the second command is fastboot space oem space lock. And guys do not try to try this command on your phone. So this will break my phone here. So I will hit the enter button. And you can see here my phone is restarted here. And you can see here my phone is about to restart and you can see here there is a warning and it says the system has been destroyed and finally I have bricked my phone and if I long press the power button then it will show you the same thing that is the system has been destroyed. My phone is just stuck in this thing here and I can't go to the recovery mode as well. When I press the power button and volume up button simultaneously, then I can't go to the recovery mode as well. As you can see here, the phone always used to say the system has been destroyed. The system has been destroyed here. But luckily I can go to the fast boot mode by pressing power button and volume down button simultaneously. As you can see here, fast boot mode is luckily enabled. And I thought that I can flash the original MI UI ROM from the computer but I was wrong. And I will show you here I try to flash the original ROM from the computer. And to flash the original MI UI ROM from the computer you need these files. The first one is ADB setup, the second one is MI flash tool and the third one is the fastboot ROM file. You can download these files. I will show you how to download these files. You have to search fastboot rom or fastboot rom xiaomi then you will see this website this is the official xiaomi website to download fastboot rom click on it and then you will see this home page will appear here and when you click on this link mi flash tool will be downloaded this is step one here and on step two you have to download the fastboot rom for your device and you have to search your device and our device name is redmi note 5 pro here so click on it to download the fastboot rom and if you have installed IDM then right click on it and click on download with IDM. Then it will download the fastboot ROM shortly. I have already downloaded those files so I am not going to download this again. And you can get ADB driver download link from the description below. After downloading all the files, first of all install the ADB setup. Click Y and hit enter button. Click Y and hit enter button again. Click Y and hit enter button again. And the ADB driver will be downloaded. Click on next and click on finish. And ADB driver is downloaded here. And then install the MI flash tool. And MI flash tool is successfully downloaded. You can see the shortcut of MI flash tool. 
and now at last extract the fastboot rom and i have already extracted this fastboot rom so i'm going to cancel this and this is the extracted folder here you can see here this is the folder extracted one okay simply open this folder and click on the blank space here and copy this whole link remember you have to copy this whole link here so simply copy this whole link and cancel this one and now open the mi flash tool software and this is the shortcut here but you can also open this mi flash tool from the c drive from the xiaomi folder and from this xiaomi flash folder and you can see the xiaomi flash this is the mi flash tool both are the same you can open from anywhere you want it to open and this is how mi flash tool looks like this is our mi flash tool and something is written here in the box but in your case it will be blank so i'm gonna erase it and click on allow access and remember your phone should be connected with the computer in fast boot mode and click on refresh button and then you will see this thing that means the device is connected in fast boot mode and at the bottom you can see here there are three options available the option clean all and lock is already enabled that means your phone will be formatted completely and that will also lock the bootloader of your phone and then after it will install the fast boot rom on your phone and the second option is save user data that means it will install the rom on your phone but won't format your data and the last option is clean all that means it will completely format your phone and then it will install the fast boot rom on your phone so we are going to select the clean all option and then on the empty box paste the link that you have copied earlier and click on the flash button to flash the rom and you can see here there is an error and there is flash xbl error here and i did some research and found that the flash xbl error means the bootloader has been locked that means my phone's bootloader is locked here and as you know that if your phone's bootloader is locked then you can't flash any rom and it seems like i have no any options to flash the rom in my phone and the only hope is that i have to unlock the bootloader of my phone and then only i will be able to flash the rom and the command that i typed earlier fastboot oem lock used to lock the bootloader of the phones like oneplus android one devices yu stc but this does not work for my xiaomi redmi note 5 pro so due to this reason i got my phone's bootloader locked and to unlock the bootloader of your phone you need a software called as mi flash unlock and you can get this software from this website as you can see here on the screen just click on this download mi unlock button and then your software will be downloaded so simply extract this software i have already downloaded this software so simply extract this software and the software has been extracted and this is our extracted folder as you can see here on the screen this is our extracted folder so simply open this folder and open the folder again and you will see mi flash unlock application so simply open it and click on agree and here you have to type your mi account and password and sign in here and remember you have to type the same mi account that your phone used to have and then click on sign in button to continue and you can see here i have connected my mi account here and the phone is connected now click on the unlock button to start the process and we have to wait for about 5 seconds here and click on the unlock anyway button and we have to wait again here and again click on the unlock button and you can see here the percentage is increasing here it should be 100 percentage then only your phone's bootloader will be unlocked and it's almost 99 here and luckily we got chance to unlock the bootloader here here you can see unlocked successfully that means our phone's bootloader is unlocked here i feel so lucky that my phone's bootloader is unlocked again otherwise i would not be able to install rom on my phone successfully bootloader is unlocked now i will try to flash official fast boot rom from my mi flash tool first of all i will refresh it here and then i will erase this link too and then i will go back i will go back to my fast boot rom extracted folder and open it and from here i will copy this whole link from here as i did this earlier copy this whole link from this box and paste that link on mi flash tool paste on this box and at the bottom make sure clean all option should be enabled and then click on flash button and you can see here the flashing process is started and there is no any error here 
and successfully we are flashing official ROM on our Redmi Note 5 Pro. And this flashing process will take some time so I will skip it. And you can see here the flashing process has been completed and in the result you can see here success written here. That means finally we have successfully installed official ROM on our Redmi Note 5 Pro. Now let us go to the mobile phone. We are in mobile phone right now and you can see here the mobile is in booting process right now. And you can see here the mobile is turned on here but you can't see anything because it is too dark here. I will try to show you from close here. And you can see here there is the device is locked written here. You have to activate it with your MI account. So simply type your MI account and password then your phone will be activated. And you can see here the phone is unlocked here and click on the next button to set up your booting process. And this is the simple basic setup you can do it by yourself. So I will fast forward this setup. And you can see here finally we are in home page of our mobile phone. And finally we have unbricked our bricked phone and you can see here on about device, device name Redmi Note 5 Pro, MIUI version 10.2.1 which is the latest version for now. And the phone is working perfectly fine here as you can see here and I hope you know how to survive with this bricked problem. If you got any kind of bricked problems like boot loop or any other then you have to flash the official ROM for your phone. And this is the only method to repair your bricked phone. And you can use this method to unbrick your all the phones. The software may be different but the method is same. And remember if you got your phone bricked on future then you have to flash official ROM for your phone. And that's it for today guys. Hope you understand how to deal with this bricked phone problem. And if you like this video just let me know. Hit that like button. Comment below if you have any kinds of problems, queries, suggestions or any kinds of things. And guys please share this video as much as you can. And guys please don't forget to subscribe to our Cracksway YouTube channel. And hit that notification bell. So thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Until then goodbye.